Oh man, it's been a while, boys. Um, I really have been putting off this video for a long time. Like these clips you're gonna see are probably over a month old, and I just really didn't want to make this video, just cause uh, some good stuff and some really bad stuff happens in it. So it's um, yeah. Unfortunately, all the clips, the uh, audio of me talking and everything, I don't know how, but it ended up getting corrupted. So probably for the best because I was a little bit spazzing out on the wins and losses in this. So I'm just going to do a live commentary over this. And basically what happened here is I just started out at the arena, just kind of got bored, you know. When you have like almost every item in the game, it, RS isn't as fun anymore. Like obviously it's nice having everything, but you just you kind of get bored and you, you lose motivation. And then uh, Duel Arena starts creeping up on you and uh, it grabs hold and... Once it's got hold, uh, that's the end of it. So we started out here just doing some like 500 mils, 100 mils, all this crap. I just cut out a lot of the other clips. I just left the uh, the biggest stakes in here. And we were doing pretty well for a while, actually. We were actually winning a lot of them. I think we ended up peaking in this around 2.1 bill, just under max cash. We ended up peaking here. And then uh, we actually went back after that. So I'm just gonna, I'll let some music play and I'll just give you guys some updates on what's actually going on in these clips, just because they are a little bit uh, scattered and a little bit messy. All right, so at this point, I just lost a 900 mil stake and that was, uh, that one hurt the bank a lot. That's probably about all the winnings I was up earlier, like in the last like couple weeks. I would just come here and do like a little like 10 mil, 100 mil here, back and forth, and I just kept winning. So it's probably all my winnings gone right there. And uh, I wasn't really thinking properly, and I kind of just snapped. So I said, you know what? Go big or go home, man. That's that's the way I am. I, I don't like doing. I've been like that my whole life, just in everything. I don't like doing half-ass work or just going in for a little bit on this or that. If I'm gonna do something, I'm going all the way in. So. I uh, ended up selling everything here. Oh man, this hurts to watch. But uh, yeah, we ended up selling the Elijah, the Twisted Bow, the Rapier, the Arcane, just to get a bunch of cash to go back. And you guys will see in the next clip here what actually happens with all this money. And uh, I'm not going to say anymore. I'll leave it for you guys to watch. Oh man, so if I actually would have lost that stake, I would have been clean there. So uh, there you go, 4.2 bill cash. Can't believe I actually won that, it was crazy. But uh, me being the way I am, just a couple nights later, we ended up back at the arena. We got uh, went down around 700 mil, and I just got to the point where I snapped. Actually, no, sorry, it wasn't down 700 mil. I was, I was actually peaked around 6.5 bill. So at this point here, I was down three bill. And I just said, you know what, I'm just going to do it all. If I lose, I'm cleaned. If I win, I'm up 500 mil and I walk. So um, challenge names Ben here was whipping 3.5 bill. And as you guys can see, oh uh, man, did not turn out very well for me. So yeah, that was me getting cleaned right there. Absolutely nothing left. Just 44 mil platinum tokens, which I ended up going back to the dual arena with and staking and losing. So completely cleaned. And that's where the dual arena adventure ends. So what I did next is I just started my rebuild, you know, just going to Zolra, trying to get some gear to go to raids. And I just ended up doing a lot of uh, elite diaries, just trying to get that stuff done and focus on the account more, get some skills up, right? So it was just, uh, this is probably about, I probably didn't even log on RS for about three days just because of like when I got cleaned. And I said, you know what, man, it's not the end of the world. It's time to come back. And uh, I did come back, obviously, as you see here. And this is just me doing some rebuilding and uh, some Morty elites and some other stuff. 
think this should be it here. We just have to light it and we should be done. Yeah, elite task. All right, so we are done with this. So we're gonna go to Canifus now. Uh, where's my host teleport? And we're gonna go claim our award. So that's the elite Mortania Diaries done. So that is two out of the however many there are. There's like, I don't know, 10 or 11. Completed, so we got the Fremenic and the Mortania. I'm actually gonna go look and check and see if I can complete any other ones right now, but I'm pretty sure I can't. But I'm gonna go check that quick right after we get this XP lamp from wherever this lady is supposed to be. I have no idea who we're supposed to talk to here. Maybe it's, uh, I think she's over here. Yeah, this is her. So we're gonna grab our XP lamp. We're gonna use it on room crafting. Here's your reward, blah, blah. I don't give a shit about any of this stuff. See you later. We got that nice 50k lamp right on runecraft and it goes 50,000 xp that's awesome too bad we're still two more elite diaries away from uh getting a level if we use the xp lamp so oh well at least we got that complete that's nice to have done this clip actually was before i got clean because i wouldn't have had to do this money after and uh, i missed the level there but i did end up getting getting 99 range on the pure so almost the max pure now pretty much just Need to get my magic to 99 and that's it. Everything else is completely maxed on at 75 attack pure. Uh, looking good. So unfortunately guys, I was not recording for this. And when I did turn on the recorder for this clip, the audio glitched again. But as you can see here, I actually did uh, free for all raids to do some rebuilding. After I went to Zora for about a week, I just got some basic gear to do some free for all raids and stuff. And I ended up getting a free for all twisted bow. I could not believe it. I had the lowest points in the raid. I was doing a raid with some really good guys. Everyone had a ton of points. I was the absolute lowest points out of the entire raid. Somehow I sniped the twisted bow with 18,000 points. I don't know, man. It just, maybe it's a sign not to go back to the arena, but just like that, the rebuild's pretty much not complete, but it's definitely, definitely um, sped up because of that. That's for sure. So I was just absolutely over the moon with this. 208 kill count on Chambers of Zerik. And a fun fact, guys, that was actually my first free-for-all raid drop. I've probably done around 60 free-for-all raids and I've never seen a drop in my name. So that was about my first drop right there. And yeah, we, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't even know what to do when I got this, man. It was, it was just amazing. So... Just wanted to show you guys that. And over here, this was on the release of Hydra. We actually ended up getting a Hydra Tail, the worst possible drop unique you could get from Hydra. I had no idea what it did at this point. I just saw the three mil uh, price there and I thought, oh my God, this is this is gonna be crazy expensive. I don't know if this was part of the, the Lance or the, the friggin' ring or whatever. I, I was freaking out, but uh, yeah, unfortunately it was the tail and it's used to make the Bone Crusher necklace, which is pretty much useless in this game. There's not very many places you would actually want to wear it. So I just tried to sell this thing. I thought maybe um, I'm going to get lucky. Maybe I'm one of the first people to have it or something. But uh, yeah, I found out pretty quickly that that was not going to be the case. And long story short, I couldn't even sell it for one mil. So I just kept it in my bank. And uh, you guys seen that if you watched my Loot from 100 Alchemica Hydra videos. You see me get the tail in there and um, I ended up just selling it for 900k which is pretty much elk price so yeah that was um, was not fun but at least I can say I did get a unique on the first day of release that's the first time that I've ever gotten a unique on the first day of a new boss or something so that was pretty cool just uh, unfortunately it was the worst possible drop you know can't be too mad with that last clip I got the twisted bow free for all so I'm, uh, I'm more than happy than with having shit RNG for a, a little while now, so. <laughs> okay, so I just bought the Hydra Leather. I'm gonna turn it into the new Ferocious Gloves. So I'm just gonna look here and see exactly what I paid for it. It's really cheap right now, 10.3 mil, which is awesome for a new best in slot. This is my uh, my buddy's Dragon Hunter Lance. I'm just borrowing it. This thing looks amazing because we have an Iron Dragon task and I wanna try this thing out and see how it performs. It's I think <laughs> I have a high feeling it's going to absolutely shred them. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna try to see where we upgrade these gloves we're gonna make these uh, it should be like a something else by feeding them through tupler blah 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 oh those are cool okay so i also have my other boros gloves here so we're gonna look at the stats so we get slash stab and crush plus 12 and plus 12 strength and some defense so when we put these on 
plus 16, so that's plus 4 better, plus 16, so that's actually quite a bit of accuracy there. Minus 16, so you can't use them for hybrid. Minus 16 magic in range, and gives no defense, which is kind of shitty, because uh, you miss that 12 defense bonus, which sucks, but uh, it gives you plus an extra max hit, so plus 12, plus 14 strength on the new gloves. And they look pretty cool too. Let's see how these things look. I thought they were going to be darker though, to be honest, I don't know. Eh, they look alright. Kind of look like snake skin and like a revenant bracelet put into one. I don't know. So let's see how it looks with all the armor on here. Oh boy. Oh, it matches the land. So that's pretty cool, I guess. So we're going to go try this out at Iron Dragons. <laughs> I think we're absolutely going to crush them. This is going to be funny. And this is just me completing level 5 in every single role at Barbarian Assault. This was an absolute nightmare to do. If you don't have a team, it's just a really big pain in the ass to get this done. But I did get it done. The reason why I was doing it is because some of you were definitely wondering what's wrong with this guy. Why is he getting level 5 in every role? You actually do need the um, level 5 in every role to complete the Kandarian Elite Diaries. That is one of the requirements. As you can see right there, you have to read the board when you have every skill level 5. So they're all mastered. Got that done and I completed another Elite Diary. And uh, yeah. Alright, we're just teleporting to Catherine B here. We should be done. Pick this herb. And this should finish off the Elite Diaries for the Kandarian. And there it is. Kandarian Elite. Outside of Camelot Castle to claim your reward. Okay, so we're going to go over here quick. Run over there and see what we get. There he is, the wedge buddy. Give me that elite little helmet thing there. Let's see. Oh boy. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was bullshit. I really don't care. So, let's use this lamp here on runecrafting, of course, because it's the shittiest skill. 50,000 XP. It's nice. So, we're 84k off here. But I, I want to know if this coal goes right to your bank. Question about the cheating diary. Uh, how do I claim the rewards? Okay, I think it goes right to my bank, that stuff now. So let's see this thing. I think this gives unlimited teleports to Sherlock now. Yeah, so that's pretty cool for like clues. You can go right there. So I got a Cerberus task. I'm going to go and finish that off. <clears throat> do a little bit of Slayer. And then I'm going to work on the... Let's see which Elite Diary here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? The Lumbridge one, that's what it was. We're going to do the Lumbridge and Drainer. I need to do Mage Training Arena to finish this one, so it's going to take a little while. So I'm going to get that done, and then we should be back with that Elite Diary complete as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. This is where I am uh, currently right now. We're just finishing up another Hydra task here, trying to see if we can get a Lance so we can go back to raids and do some more free-for-alls, hopefully snipe another Twisted Bow. Probably won't happen ever again, but yeah. That's pretty much just where I'm leaving off right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it took so long for me to get it out. I just really didn't want to edit it, man. <laughs> just so, so much pain watching those clips, man. Oh my gosh. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.